Welcome to Sugbu Wine Channel. I'm Catherine Medici Sinedo, certified WSET Level 2 for Wines and Spirits. We're here right now in Asmara Urban Resort and Lifestyle Village. We will be talking about on how to taste wines. to thank Asmara Urban Resort and Lifestyle Village for having us here. I believe that they're one of the safest outdoor dining area here in Cebu City. They have good food, great ambiance, and accommodating staff. How to taste wine. First step is preparing for wine tasting. Our palate should be clean and unaffected by cigarette, coffee, chewing gum, or toothpaste. Chewing a piece of bread or dry crackers can remove any lingering flavors in the mouth. If you have fever, cough, and colds, it may affect your ability to judge wines. So, it's better not to do any wine tasting when you have it because your sense of taste and smell are altered. Preparing for your wine glass. Your wine glass should have a rounded bowl that is enough for your wine to swirl and the side slope should be inwards like a tulip for your nose to be able to smell the aromas and the stem long enough for us to hold the wine without warming it. Now we're ready to taste the wine. There are four steps in tasting the wine. Look, smell, taste, and give the verdict. For my wine tasting, I will be tasting a Robert Mondavi Private Selection Cabernet Sauvignon. 2017. So, I'll be pouring it. First step is you look. Grip the stem of the glass and hold it up to an eye level with some light behind it. Look at the color and note how transparent or opaque the wine is. Check for the intensity of the wine, if it's pale, medium, or deep in color. You also have to check if your wine is clear or not. Gently swirl the wine and look for legs or tears that are high in alcohol sticks to the edge of the glass and dribbles back down slowly to the wine. Second step is smelling your wine. Swirl the wine to release as many aromas as possible. Then put the wine glass into your nostril. Smell the wine one nostril at a time and then take a sniff. Any off notes, the most common fault that can be discovered on the nose is cork taint. Cork taint smells pungent, barnyard, unpleasant damp cardboard, or musty smell to the wine due to oxidation. Put to the side straight away if it's a faulty wine. If the wine is healthy, then you assess. What do you smell? How intense is the aroma? 
what are the aroma characteristics of the wine? Then again, smelling is subjective. Consider larger types of aromas first, such as tropical, fruity, earthly, flower, and herb scents. Then, you try to get the floral notes and fruity scents of a wine. Try to identify extra smells such as red fruits, vanilla, asparagus, mushrooms, tobacco, and oak aromas. Allow yourself to become lost in the rich aromas because it all adds up to the overall enjoyment in tasting your wine. Now we are ready to taste our wine. Take a sip and swirl it around your mouth. Most wine tastes slightly sour and sharp because that's the nature of the acidic drink. Wine may also be bitter, sweet, or some may even be salty. Describe the sweetness of the wine if it's dry, off-dry, or medium sweetness. Then you check for acidity if it causes your mouth to water and its presence that makes wine taste vibrant and refreshing. White wines have greater acidity than red wines. Acidity is very important for sweet wines. If it is too low, the wines taste overswear or cloying. Then you check for the tannins. Tannin is the bitter taste and astringent taste of the wine. Tannins from red wines come from the skin and oak barrel and can make your tongue feel sandpaper dry. Thick skinned varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah have much higher tannin levels compared to thin skinned varieties like Pinot Noir and Grenache. Bitter flavors are most strongly tasted at the back of the tongue. The astringent sensations are mostly felt on the gums. Then you check for the body of the wine. Body is the mouth feel. It is the sensation of richness, viscosity, and weight with a combination of alcohol, tannin, sugar, and flavor compounds extracted from the skin. We cannot taste the flavor characteristic of the wine properly if the wine is too cold. We describe the wine body as light, medium, or full. Then you identify the finish of the wine. How long does the flavor linger to your mouth? A long complex finish is an indicator of quality. Fourth step, we give the verdict. We give the conclusion of the quality of wine. Did you like it? Would you buy it again? We give verdict as faulty, poor, acceptable, good, very good, and outstanding. An outstanding wine has a perfect combination of balance, intensity, complexity, finish, and expressiveness. It is important to take into account your taste and preference and of course the price of the wine. So don't forget to record and make wine notes. I hope this vlog helps you on identifying what wine suits you best. Please drink responsibly and enjoy the pleasure of drinking your wine. Cheers!